Few hours after Very Dark Man and Polo had issues on social media over his girlfriend Eyabojo, I think a lot of people are now saying that Davido is aligning with Polo. Based on the video that made it to the social media, Davido was saying in the video saying, you know what, uh, this man made me my first 10 million naira and that i'll be forever grateful that is something a lot of people are really seeing right now trending on social media remember that a very dark man came out to drag a over the attendance of davidos and chomas uh, in a wedding in lagos and that escalated into something the lies of obi kubana was really really awful about it and said you know what why would we allow blogs to post somebody who is insulting others but some people People are taking the back or the size of very dark man saying that if Ed does not they behave well, they will drag him. That is what many people are saying. But when you look at it from their own point of view, our politicians are elders in the society, but they're not the behave well. So we need to drag them. So that is something you need to understand. That is a story for another time. We are talking about this that is trending. Very dark man has actually come out to drag Yabo Joe, which is escalating. Polo uh, came out to say this man is really having an issue and decided to blast very dark man and said something about a lot of things he said davido kubana chief priest tunde ed not a lot of others even pokoli you either choose between very dark man and me because if you are a friend of very dark man you are no longer my friend but davido landed in us and then decided to align with Polo. What does it say? That is another thing we need to ask ourselves. It means that Davido has sacrificed his relationship with the very dark man for Polo or the one who amend or mend things and make things right again. That is one thing I'm feeling with this whole thing. Let's catch a glimpse of that. I love you, man. <laughs> the best person to give me my first 10 million naira. Today, I gave my soldier 15 million A lot of us are saying that in a very dark man, you shouldn't have dragged a Yabo Joe with David Osa wedding, and you should have used any other opportunity to drag her. And we know that you guys have some differences based on the death of Mobad and the rest, where Yabo Joe actually made a statement, you know, in response to you. That statement came out of anger and according to the statement the video i've checked online i saw that iyabo joe referred to very dark man's mom as an animal his dad a ram and that you know kind of infuriated very dark man which he decided to say unprintable things about iyabo joe that is escalating right now a very dark man from time to time is always looking for an opportunity to drag iyabo joe according to him he said you know when he was being arrested he didn't know what actually happened and until investigation started you know uh he got the information that the lies of tun to dk st clef and iyabojo actually wrote petition against him and they arrested him for almost two weeks and the rest before he was given bail finally but right now he's out to drag these persons because they did refer to his mom and his parents and that is really a kind of escalating i understand his own pains at a time like this i understand the pains of iyabojo but we should find a middle ground to this and not jeopardize relationships out there that is something i can really say with this whole thing trending out on social media whenever choma is not happy with davido things don't go well that is what is coming in from davido's ex lawyer bobo ajidua and a lot of people are really responding to this and saying that this is really it because i remember the a better time album 
a good time album what happened that was the period that uh, the video was really having issues uh, with uh, Choma and one of these albums didn't perform very well. I made a video on this and saying that when Davido is at his best with Choma, he always makes fine music and that we are really getting from a point like this. What is your own take about all of this? I want you to put that in the comment section because a lot of people are really talking about this story and it's getting loud at the end of the day. This is said in a recent uh, emotional message to Davido and Choma on their marriage or on their wedding and a lot of people were really appreciative of the fact. Remember that Davido has sacked this lawyer owing to some differences and a lot of things but Davido cited something that we can really understand that he needs to expand you know kind of uh, the frontiers of his business and he needs a better or capable hand but people came out to say this guy was not really defending the video at all instead he was competing to be uh, a fine boy and a social media influencer remember that early this year the video came out to say anybody will do me bad go collect and everybody will do me bad go collect one by one and it be like say they don't they collect right now that is what actually came in from the video early this year and somebody just collected recently after a few days of mocking the video this person came on social media you know to mock the video on his wedding day and that was really embarrassing at the time and people are now responding to the big story and saying that this you don't collect finally but now this person is having a marital issue his wife has left him and that is quite embarrassing and disturbing and the story making around is that his wife caught uh, him cheating that is what the story is all about but according to the report we got they said his wife saw his uh you know kind of social media and whatsapp messages with his side chick and how he's been sending money to his side chicks and now the wife has left him uh, with their baby that is quite disturbing and a lot of people are saying yes where this are but i'm not going to laugh at another person that failed in marriage but this is a lesson for us to learn that you need not mock others with their pains that is something i've learned from this big story right now a lot of people are really attesting to that that is a person of kevin odans and a lot of people are now saying that yes you know you don't get the first share of your own what is your own take about that i know that you guys are getting a whims of the story and getting a lot of informations about this particular story a big one from pato ranking donating a stadium to his community a butumeta lagos where he grew up from that is a big kudos to him i think a lot of others should learn from him having whiskey on a song is more important than having drake on a song that is coming in from Skepta. I think a lot of people are beginning to understand his own point of view after making this explanation at a recent podcast interview and some people are now getting to understand that we need to contribute to the development of our African music industry and the only way we can do that is to actually support from the grassroots and from the local scene. That is what it is. Skepta is really saying this and some people are really surprised at that. Some will tell you that, you know what? You know, Drake will bring him many money, but you need to understand that it's not all about money for this guy. It's about connecting with their foundation and their roots. Understanding there were so many voices that amplified or that I could weren't even, yeah. let alone amplified. You know what I mean? It was, I just wanted to do everything I could. I always say it. Hence, hence like, like me and me and Drake first like meeting like musically was with Whiskey yeah. on the Whiskey record, and that was that was more important to me than asking Drake to jump on a song of mine. You know what I'm saying? Or trying to make some song for myself. It was more like okay, you know, I want because them times there. Like. Apparently, I Prince is my man. We have been dating for 12 years. That is coming in from more a baby and a lot of people are really surprised do you think she meant it i want you to catch a glimpse of what she said 
at a recent podcast. Boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Y'all dating right now? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Wait, was you and Ice Prince dating? Apparently. 12 years. 12, 12 years. years strong. Really? That's what, I'm what is your own take about all of this story? I want you to put out in the comment section so that we can talk about it further. Before I jump off, I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below, the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. I love you guys. Keep supporting Afrobeat blog across social media platforms.